Hello learners, my name is teacher Jonathan and welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. In our lesson for today, grade 4 mathematics, I will start with a question. How can you simplify algebraic expression? For more on this, join me in our lesson for today, forming algebraic expression involving multiplication. Forming algebraic expression involving multiplication. And just for a recap, in our previous lesson, we learned how to use algebraic or to form algebraic expression involving subtraction. And John, we saw John giving out part of what he had and we formed expression of the remaining part or the remaining portion. And with me, I would like us to, form, to pair in twos and now identify what I have on the table. What I have on the table. Now, I have some blocks with me. I have some blocks with me. I have some blocks with me. And I would like us just first to use the first one. Now, in our groups, if the cost of this one block is T shillings, the cost of one block, if the cost of a block is T shillings, now this is the cost of this block is t shillings. Now John, John bought five of them. And we have five of them. One, two, three, four, and five. John bought all of this. Now, what is the cost? How much did she spend? How much did he spend buying the five blocks? What is the cost? What is the cost? of five blocks. What is the cost of five blocks? And we have said, for us to get the cost of the blocks, which John bought, it's how do we form them? How do we work it out? Who can give us a clue? How will we work it out? Remember, we have said one block, a block, we have said it costs 10 shillings. So five blocks, this is one block. So five of them, five blocks will cost how much? Will cost how much? Jen, can you help us work out? Yeah, working out will do this. If one block is two shillings, five blocks will cost how much? It will be five, we multiply by two shillings. So we'll take five blocks, we multiply it by t shillings and our answer will be and our answer will be 5 t shillings 5 t shillings that is the amount of money which john has spent 5 t shillings that is the amount of money that john has spent to buy these blocks that is the amount of money and the amount of money we've gotten it from five blocks, we multiply it by T shillings because the price of one block is T shillings. And we've got five T shillings. In our group activity, also our class, our class has 10 learners. Class has 10 learners. This is one class with 10 learners. In our class, we have 10 learners. Now, if each is given, if each is given Y, Y books, if each, each has, has Y books, Y books, each is given Y books. Now, how many books are given to all the learners? How many books are given to all learners in that class? Learners? We will do the way we have done the first one. We know each learner is given Y book. Now, 10 learners, 10 will be given how many books? And we'll take 10 learners, we multiply by the number of books given to each. So it will be 10 multiplied by Y books. And our answer will be 10 Y books. That is the number of books that has been given to that class. And that is how we form 
algebraic expression involving multiplication. Learners, can you solve the following task? Can you solve the following task? Task for our day. Task for our day is joy, joy, joy as two trays of eggs, two trays of eggs. If each tray, tray, if each tray as z eggs if each tray has z eggs how many eggs does jen joy has how many eggs does joy have does joy have Joy has two trays of eggs and each tray has z eggs. So how many eggs does Joy have? And the final task, our final task, our final task, task number two, our final task number two, using the same process or the same way we have formed algebraic, the first and the second algebraic expression is a much a matatu carries 14 passengers. Number two, a matatu carries 14 passengers. A matatu carries 14 passengers. Now, the question is how many passengers are in S matatus? How many passengers are in S matatus? How many passengers? How many passengers are in as matatus? If a matatu carries fourteen capacity, one matatu has capacity of fourteen passengers. How many passengers are in as matatus? This is the end of our lesson, but remember to do more practice on forming algebraic expression involving multiplication at home using various items that you have in your homes. Hope you've enjoyed the lesson. See you again.